what's your name? And My name is Lars Hansen-Dam. Yes, and you are an owner of a tea shop here? I'm an owner of the tea shop in Genshafte, yeah. yeah. And that's a rich neighborhood of Copenhagen? Uh, Genshafte is a wealthy neighborhood, yeah. definitely. Um, that's that's uh, normally known in Denmark. And why, a which is the reason that you started here, your tea shop? It's actually pure coincidence. Yeah, I, I, I took over an existing shop with local customers. And it was a girl who had the shop, it was a kind of girlish tea shop uh, with lots of accessory and all this stuff. And I had this feeling that they, uh, it was very difficult to go in there and just start over because you would probably lose all the local customers. So I started very slowly in a long, slow movement towards what I wanted to present, which eventually is something like this, a modern updated tea shop without too much of the old fashioned that some people would combine with tea. And, Many tea shops also in Copenhagen, you kind of make the uh, grandmother style and all this, which is very nice. The English I wanted, style. Yeah, the, 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 coziness. Classical, the coziness. I wanted to do something different to kind of make it a little bit more contemporary. That's basically the idea behind it. Yeah. When I opened the tea shop, uh, I, I took a travel to China to, to have this feeling about the feels and see how it was done and you know, to get this angle on it as well. Um, and and it, it's there is nowhere that you can go and, and train as a tea trainee, not really. So you have to try to sample as many tea as you can, try to be a little bit systematic about it, try to read all you can read about it, and, and that's the way to do it. Uh, so it's 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 uh, I think most tea tasters are very much self-made um, connoisseurs. Connoisseurs, yeah. yeah. Do you import the tea for yourself or do you import through importers? We import through importers yeah. mainly, yeah. yeah. To be sure that the consistency, quality and all this. Yeah. So we, we tend to do that. We have uh, some uh, different international uh, uh, import exporters that we deal with who are old companies, been in the business for a long time. And they, they not every importer is good at everything, so we pick where we find the best. Uh, so uh, and then we blend and combine ourselves as well. Yeah. So that's a kind of sometimes I think that's a way of making things a little bit harder for yourself. But in that way you get what you want, yeah. basically. So uh, we stick to that yeah. still. What what are Danish people? What is the general taste of tea in in, uh, in Denmark? The general taste is aromatized tea. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, and, and basically uh, one of the most sold teas are still Earl Grey blends, yeah. Yeah. where you have the Bergman oil in. Uh, that's by far the most sold tea. Yeah. And you yeah. see, what you see in Holland is those big boxes on uh, with all the selections, most uh, arom aromatized teas. Yeah. Is it the same here? Well, how do you present tea in a, in a restaurant, a cafe? In a restaurant, normally, yeah, like a box you open and you have a lot of tea bags uh, yeah. smelling more or less uh, fruity. Sadly so, that's still the picture in Denmark, but a lot of places are getting there and, and working with loose weight teas, mm -hmm. more well produced uh, envelope teas, uh, you can get quite decent uh, like loose leaf tea in bags now, so uh, quite a few restaurants start taking that in, but you will see if you go through Denmark and visit even nice restaurants, if you're a tea drinker, you will be very disappointed at mm. even very good places. So, and, and in your still a lot of work to do, yeah. and I'm very interested in gastronomy. So, so this about uh, tasting a, a new dessert with new combinations and trying to uh, to make a tea that kind of resembles this experience. That that's my um, in Danish we say drivkraft. That's my force of yeah. work or whatever you, you say. My inspiration comes from that. Yeah.